Hello and thank you so much for tuning in at Janil Hair Collection. Today we are going to learn how to do the bandica lines and at the same time towards the end of this video we will be doing the installation so don't skip anything so that you will get everything right and all you need is any type of moisturizer to moisturize the braid so that it will be easy for sectioning and I used uh, four packets of braids, two of blonde and two of black that is number one and for now i'm going to start uh, moisturizing the braids the way you're seeing so that it will be easy for me to uh, do the sectioning and i have uh, this particular size that i'll have to this will be my first one to feed in i'll use this particular size and i'm going to align them on my leg so on each strand i was using 11 yeah i was using 11 so let me count it for you so we have one two and three four five six seven eight nine ten and the one that i'm going to uh, begin with yeah, so I have it like that as usual one side is bigger than the other and I'm going to join them together and when you're doing uh, this uh, type of braids there are two they are two uh, types I mean there are two methods you can begin with uh, you can have one piece of the braid going behind the string like that and you're good uh, to begin uh, doing your bandica or you can have uh, two parts of braids going behind uh, the string uh, like that and you'll be good uh, to go so it's uh it's good for you to choose uh the one that it, that works the best uh for you but in this case i'm going to uh, let one one piece of the braid going behind the string like that and i'll have my middle finger from the uh, left from my left hand receive the hair in the middle and uh, do the same thing on the other side and you need to let your fingers work tightly together so that it won't uh, slide when, when you start to feed in uh, the braid uh, like that and for now i'm now going to take my first a braid and i'll have three fingers like that receiving the braid so that it will be tight and i let it go under my thumb like that and that's how i begin a uh, feeding in the braid you can see my hands are very tightly together i'll take the next one let my three fingers on the left hand receive the braid put it under my thumb and you're good uh, to go so i'm going to continue doing the same thing feeding in the braid until i'm done with the 10 uh, pieces of braids yeah and like i always uh love to tell you all thank you so much for always supporting Janil hair collection and uh if you'd love to be part of my journey here on youtube it's very very uh, simple just go ahead and click the subscribing button below the video and you'll be part of my journey here and don't forget to uh, turn on your notification a bell on so that you'll be notified any time any day that i do upload the video because i have a lot of good stuff lined up for you so that we learn uh these things uh together now i'm almost i'm almost i'm sorry i'm almost done feeding in at uh, the braid and then i'll have to now continue braiding uh the bandica braid until i reach up to the bottom and then uh, from there now we will have to go ahead and see how the installation will uh, come out and subscribing to my channel it does count a lot because it keeps me going and for now i'm not using i'm not feeding in no braid to extend the ponytail i'm just using uh, the normal size of the braid and uh, I hope uh, you're finding this helpful. I hope you would love uh, to try this. And from what you're seeing now, uh, you can see that is the front. This is so neat. And that is the back. So you're good to go uh, and uh, take the scissors. You need to be careful when you're doing this and remove uh, the fissure ends. 
and uh, if you are not comfortable using the scissors you can use warm water and dip your bandica lines to remove the uh, the fish ends yeah so from what you're seeing now we are done and that was as simple as that so all these are 27 uh, pieces of bandica braids you can see this is so neat and beautiful uh, i don't know which type of color you will decide and uh, choose whichever hairstyle that you are comfortable with so we are done and it was simple as that and again uh, before i forget if you've enjoyed uh watching this video and find it helpful don't forget to uh, give this video a thumbs up leave a comment and uh, share it with a friend so for now let's see how the installation came out and i use this type of shin spread i mean shin spray to add shin on the hair and this is the hairstyle that came out after doing the bandica the bandica braids yeah so i don't know which type of hairstyle that you will choose and you'll be good to go so thank you so much for staying with me up to this end uh, and thank you so much for taking your time and watch this up to the end until uh, next time i'll see you in my next video bye